Yes, this is a human skull that I'm holding in my hands. And no, I never thought I would actually utter that sentence out loud. This is not bone. This is actually nylon 3D printed and provided to us by the fine people at 3D Serum. Because remember when we were there and we talked about technical ceramics and how those could help power the future of space travel because of heat shielding and whatnot? Oh, those same technical ceramics can also help us heal the human body. And I can't wait to show you because I have cool stuff. Let's start off with what happens currently when surgeries happen in this region of the human body. Again, human skull. This is from data captured by an MRI and it's nylon 3D printed. And you can tell right there, there is a defect. Now this could be from a congenital condition or this could be from trauma. Regardless of that, right now, if we need to patch a hole in our head, this is what we do. We use 3D printed titanium. These are actual 3D printed titanium parts that could go inside of the human body. I, I, I can't believe I get to show you this. This is 3D printed titanium in two parts that when sutured in place, go right here on the skull. These are a little bit thinner than the titanium parts that might go in the head. And the reason that that is the case is because just you want something nice and strong in your head if you have to, you know, cover a hole in it. And this isn't a waste per se because data collected from an MRI, when you can 3D print that data, then you can get an exact match for the implant that's needed. And anybody can then practice on the 3D printed skull with the 3D printed titanium parts just to make sure things fit in the place exactly how they should. Let me, let me get this in place and then I can try to hold it properly. Just like that. And then just like, just like that. There you go. Can you see that? Yeah? So the two pieces would get sutured together and then sutured into pre-drilled holes in the human skull. And obviously, because you have complete control of this model, you can model in the holes in the proper places within the mesh structure. I'm gonna see if I can't maybe suture something here. Everything is appropriately sealed and sterilized. <gasps> Never done this before. Yeah, that's a sharp needle. Let's do this. So let's let's figure out where, where it goes. I think it's just like that. There are the pre-drilled holes in, in the human skull. So I should be able to feed them through here. <laughs> Boop, flat line. Houston, we have a problem. I'm actually happy that I haven't stabbed myself yet, because I could just imagine that trip to the emergency room. Sir, what were you doing when you started bleeding? Well, I was performing surgery on a 3D printed skull with a titanium head plate. Not a doctor. I'm demonstrating it on old technology anyway. Let me show you what the new hotness is. I hold in my hands, yet again, another human skull. This one, of course, 3D printed. Just last one. Why did I do that? Uh, this one slightly off color. It must have been exposed to the sun longer. This one also has a defect, whether congenital or from trauma. However, now we have the option of a technical ceramic to put in place. Here it is. This is a technical ceramic. It's a, it's a HAP ceramic, hydroxyapatite, printed on a 3D Serum C900. And look at it. It's got a mesh built into it from the geometry, and it also has the holes built into it for the sutures to go through. And if you remember, ceramics aren't something that you can reshape or reform after the fact. You need to build everything into it when you print it. So this HAP ceramic is biocompatible. Now, if we think of titanium, you know, the stuff that I didn't do well in this skull, Titanium is 
biotolerated. So bodies that have titanium in them tolerate the titanium. It is not biocompatible, it is biotolerated. And there are times when a body will reject the titanium, which is unfortunate. Where Hab ceramics come in, and this is so freaking cool, they are biocompatible. Bone will grow into them and soft tissue around them. It is essentially simulated bone and the body accepts it. How cool is that? So when we talk about someone that has a hole in their head and they need some sort of fix, it's much better to think about a hap ceramic going in there because then the skull bone can grow into it and the soft tissue around it and there's less trauma for the body to have to recover from. This one, if we can just find the right way for it to kind of, if we just keep twisting, we'll event, yes, look at that. Look, look, look. Look at that, ah, oh, that's nice. That's real nice right there. It's a perfect fit. So when you take the data from an MRI, you can then 3D print the skull and then accurately reproduce it in meat space where then you can test the implant before it goes into the human body so the doctors aren't surprised during surgery. This is future tech. This is 100% future tech. And this is what our kids' is kids' is kids are just gonna think is every day. They're gonna think back to when, what, you put metal in your bodies? Ugh. Well, there you go. This is a technical ceramic covering a defect in a human skull that could be properly, that, that the, oh, just the body could properly grow around it. It's so cool. A huge thanks to 3D Serum for sending over this future tech. I'm really looking forward to what we get to showcase next. Stay tuned. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in and live for this future right here. And as always, high five.